Hello buddy, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. This obviously is going to work for Eevee as well, and you guys are going to be here for the Dratini location. Uh, this is the location, as you can see, up in Route 10. Um, you'll actually be able to pull this up on your Pokedex once you uh, reach down here, because you'll finally meet a trainer that actually has Dratini. Uh, this is where you're actually going to get Surf anyway, which we require... Which you require? Which you are required to get, to get Dratini. Uh, it will appear on this water just here. Now... Um, hopefully before one appears, I just need to show you guys just how many I've caught. And this has been all in one chain, uh, so we're going to give you guys some experience here uh, as to as to how I managed to do this. Got quite a lot. Um, now the first ten uh, are the rarest, so you're probably going to see quite a few appearing right here, right now. Uh, I'm not going to catch one straight away. I just want to try and show you just how frequently they start appearing once you build up your chain. Um, Please. Oh, they have magic up. Now, what you're going to do is, I like this little area here just because it's along both sides of the routes. Now, as Pokemon are appearing, um, I do find it to be a good idea uh, to just clear them away uh, just by running away, and that'll take them off the map. Um, the quickest way to do it is obviously just to press B and then press A uh, in the fight. Uh, doing this does not reset your catch combo. What does reset your catch combo is if a Pokemon flees. So I'm trying to wait for a Dratini here just so that we can... Um, oh wow, it's really not going to do it for me. Uh, just so that we can uh, kind of show you how I've been catching them. Now I have used 120 Pokeballs at this point, it's been quite a lot. Uh, but essentially what you're going to want to do is once you get into an encounter with a Dratini, which I'm expecting soon, Okay then guys, so we've just had our first Dratini spawn since uh, recording the video. Now, what you're going to want to do is throw a single Pokeball. Now, I don't really want to catch this one because it doesn't have very high IVs. Uh, this is identified underneath the level where the CP is, and I'm going to show that in a second as well. Um, this is kind of going to work as a catch guide for a lot for a lot of Pokemon. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to throw one Pokeball. Now, if that catches it, all good. If not, we're going to run away. Uh, and the reasoning for that is, so if it runs away, if we attempt to catch it again, uh, there's a strong chance that it'll run away and that will reset your catch meter. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just throw a single Pokeball and then leave. And then obviously you'll catch your way through uh, up to a large catch combo. Uh, now let me just show what we have in here. So... Um, obviously, the later in the combo they are, the more they are to have great IVs. Um, but as, you, as I'll show here, look, um, your CP, so let's check something again. And instead of pressing Y, we press A. The CP, 348, look, denotes how good its IVs are. Uh, so the best one I've caught so far is 349. Obviously, that one there is 281. Um, and so you'll see. 349 is almost perfect. I'm assuming something like a, three, th a 350 or a 351 um, will give you perfect IVs. That's really what you're looking for. Um, I'm not planning on playing like competitively. So I'm pretty happy with the one that I've got. I'm going to go ahead and transfer all of these uh, so that we can continue the Let's Play. Uh, this is obviously going to be a part of the Let's Play as well. So hopefully... This won't be, won't be too bad for you guys. This did take quite a while, and I did it in handheld mode, because it is far easier to get accurate throws. Uh, now, at this point, if you do want to, um, and this is the perfect point, in my opinion, to go ahead and set um, the, the nature of your Pokemon. Again, I'm not too bothered about it. I could do it right now, but I don't have the cash. Um, so if you speak to the lady in Future City, uh, you, she, you pay her like 10 grand, she'll ask you a load of questions, you can, you can set the... Is that another one? No, much gone. You can set the natures that the Pokemon will be more likely to have as you encounter them. Uh, so obviously when you've got a big catch combo like this, you're going to be catching high IVs. You can also set... That was one. You can also set the IVs. So this one is 203, that's actually not bad for an 18. 205 is a very good one for 18. Um, so I reckon 206, 207 would be the would be the extent. Lower levels are actually usually easier to catch, so uh, if you get an easy level, even if you don't like the IVs, catch this one just to build up your catch combo. Oh no, he's gone. He didn't want it. Of course you can use bows to make this easier as well, but I, I really don't feel the need to, uh, to use them. But anyway, 
That is a catch guide on how to get Dratini, and not only Dratini, but how we get one with high IVs um, and a small amount of guns and how we set its, set its um, natures. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys, uh, and I will catch you in the next one. See you then.